Miss Loads, check. On Time Network, check. Production, check. Smalls Present Bag, check. You get the point. 2019, highly a nice sort, hit mostly all the elements. What happened with safety? Didn't do too good. 18 ocean recordable injuries, a couple of near misses. It was pretty bad last year, but we're gonna fix it, all right? Same commitment, same energy, same motivation that we put into hitting those service numbers uh, are gonna be focused into improving our safety picture. So with that, as you can see, I don't mind thinking outside the box. So let's think outside the box and get motivated. Hey, what's up? What just went down right here? Uh, we're just helping him out with the package. Team uh, 70 pounds are heavier. Team lift. Appreciate that. You can look me in my eyes, see I'm ready for whatever Anything don't kill me, make me better I ain't dead, you can, you can take the fame and the cheddar And the game and the deal, I'm still a go deal Take my freedom for the moment, but it ain't forever I got the spirit of a god, heart of a killer I'm a king, seen hanging with some cold killers I ain't never... The best way to prevent it is effort and teamwork The name of the kids were smart and not hard if you see somebody struggling, give them my hand. What's up, Bonda? Call for a responder? Yes, I did. I have a leak of package. Why don't you just pick it up and take it to the rerun? Can't do that. I'm not supposed to touch it. I got the security area. Leave and go to notify first responder. I'm out of jail, working what you gotta say now. You can fake and only gonna inspire. All your hating is fuel to my fire. You can play and on the crown saw dress motivation. Going into this year, what's the motivation this year? What are we doing different? What's going to motivate the employees to work safe? Oh, uh, just talk to everybody to work safe. Use a low stand, and low stand. You know, make sure it, there's no egress anywhere. Nobody exactly. can trip anywhere. Our last safety meeting, our last safety meeting, what was one of the, the most common findings when we did the building walk? What, what did we observe the most? Uh, the egress. Egress. Yeah, egress in every area. Was bad, yeah. So. I mean, what else? What's your motivation? How how we gonna motivate the guys? They look up to you, so you know, you gotta let them know. I just wanna make sure everybody follows the, all the safety measures. Five keys, slips and falls, eight keys, slips and lowering. You know, all the safety measures. All right, so man. All right. Appreciate you leading by example using that unload stand, man. Thank you. So Spencer, obviously, the whole district is concerned about Hialeah Night so and our safety picture. Obviously, 18 OSHA recordable injuries last year, uh, and a handful of near misses. You know, I'm, the question is, what are we doing different? Well, I can't do this by myself, so my biggest uh, hurdle was to rebuild a safety committee. Um, I have been doing observations, DLKs, and observing employees if they're wearing the proper footwear. Not only that, they're getting feedback from the observations and communicate with employees and let them know what they're doing wrong and what they need to change. They need to change their, their behaviors. I know you're on the committee. What's different about the safety committee on the NISO initiative? Well, the difference is the safety committee are more involved. They're better interactive with the staff. Longest tenure CHSP committee member, so just kind of talk to me a little bit about the difference of the safety committee last year at the full position. 
difference what I see from last year to this year are there are more our peers and not just management working on the safety committee than we do on the floors with each employee. So, I mean, how, how do you think that's going to impact the employees? Do you think they'll be happy to see employees that work just like them coming around, asking them safety questions, making observations, giving them feedback? What do you think about that? Yes, I do believe that's a good feedback that your peers see their peers working along in the building, in the safety, to let you know that it's not just management of the ground. I'm with the work right beside you, and I can let you know what's going wrong and how to uh, project that to be right. All right, well, thank you. So, Sal, last year we had a poor safety pitch, a lot of injuries last year. I mean, what, what do you what do you think happened? Well, D, I, I personally think that you know we had the processes in place and the verbal commitments, but we just didn't maintain that strong safety culture. So, I'm, I'm sure the district and everybody wants to know that that question's got to be big. And what what are we going to do in in this year, 2020? different to, to, you know, make our safety picture better? Well, I, I personally am making a commitment and uh, we need to enforce a bulletproof mindset supporting safety as our core value, starting with management, down to our safety committee and to all our people. All right, well, uh, so, so how do you, how do we plan to do that? What do you, what do you think the, you know, we need to do to, to, to get that done. Well, I mean, we have to make the commitment and we got to set clear goals with high expectations. And by doing that, you know, we'll build a foundation of trust for our people. But we have to be the example for them. If we're not the example, then they're not going to follow us. And, we're not gonna build that strong character, and that's what we need to do. Hate and kill your dog. Motivation.